Today NASA's space shuttle is going to sink the Hubble telescope. We're going to revisit an old historical mission, STS-125, which essentially is a repair mission for the Hubble telescope done by the space shuttle. We're going to have a look at a short clip from that historical mission and then we're going to tear this silliness to pieces. So we're going to have a look at the short clip in question. It's being narrated by one of the astronauts. After we got that thing out of the way, uh, we were able to continue with the repair. And we had a few little problems, but it, from the, you know, nothing like that handrail being in the way. That's a capture plate that we put over the, the instrument that allowed us to access 117 small screws that we needed to remove from the access panel. Then we removed this uh, power supply, put a new one in, uh, sealed it up. And uh, so far, so good. It looks like this is up and working again. Um. And I'll just pause it there. You may have spotted an issue there. You may not have. But we're going to zoom in on a particular part of the clip we've just seen. Bear with me. This short clip's on loop. Pay particular attention to the reflection on the top of the astronaut's helmet. You can see a certain lighting formation. I'll let it play a few more times. In fact, it looks like at the bottom of the astronaut's helmet, at a certain point when we come to about there, looks like I can see a yellow tank. But we'll leave that. We'll just focus on the actual lighting, the formation of the lighting, okay? Let it come once more. I'm going to take some snapshots, some stills of this, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is, okay? Once more. I'm going to zoom in on the reflection of the astronaut's helmet there, looking at this lighting formation. We've got several rows of light bulbs going away from us. Then on the right hand side, we've got what looks like a neon light, one of those tubes that were popular in the 70s and the 80s. Now, what makes this even worse, in between the rows of lights, we can see what appears to be rafters, supports for a roof, to hold the roof up, and of course, the lighting formation that we're seeing in place. Another shot here, caught at the end of the clip we looked, and we can see the neon light, the strip light on the right now, has been joined by another row of what looks like light bulbs. So we've got lights running away from us in lines, light bulbs, and we've got a neon light below one of the light runs of light bulbs on the right. Now this makes all perfect sense when we come to NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab. We've got rafters in between the lights holding up the roof. We've got runs of light bulbs. And over here on the right, we've got neon lights below the rows of light bulbs that are on the roof. See? This footage was filmed in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. That is the lighting setup that you're seeing here. Now for anyone claiming, oh, that's a bit of training footage, they've slipped in by mistake, sorry. This uniform, this outfit, this space suit our mate is wearing here is the official spacewalk uniform, the EMU unit, worn by NASA since the early 80s and still worn to this day. They wear a different uniform when they're doing the training, as I'm about to show you. So we're going to look at a short clip from the official training mission for STS-125 Hubble Repair Mission. just want to show you before we do a couple of little differences with the astronaut. The suit's a lot different anyway, but we only get to see sort of the head of the astronaut in the official clip. Just going to point out a couple of things here. The yellow torches either side of the astronaut's head aren't present on the EMU, the official spacewalk suit. And these pivot points on the visor here are different as well, okay? I'll be pointing that out in a minute. But let's just watch the official clip. I 
I think we'll pause it there as our underwater star here gets lowered into his underwater pantomime stage. And just zoom in on that light information on the top of his hat, on the top of his uh, helmet there. Look familiar, doesn't it? So this is the official training suit for the Hubble repair mission. The official spacewalk suit for the Hubble repair mission. Training suit with its yellow torches and different pivot point on the visor. Official suit with different torches and different pivot points on the visor. Training official. The problem is when we zoom in on the astronaut's visor on the official footage of him supposedly repairing the Hubble Space Telescope in space, when we zoom in, we can see the lighting of the neutral buoyancy lab in all its glory reflecting on his helmet. Not only that, we can see the rafters, the design holding the roof up and of course holding the lighting in place, of course, which is reflecting on the astronaut's visor here. This is a really bad fail for NASA, the Hubble and space in general. Terrible. 